I know this might not look like a big thing to a lot of people and might even look a little cheesy but hey this was a big opportunity for me I got to be a student all over again and it's a big thing for me um but why am I talking about this a lot of prospective students got in touch with me to find out how the digital product design course is from Sheridan College overall and I just completed studying this course a few months ago so I have fresh memories of it. I compiled a few common questions that I was asked and I'm going to talk about them in this video. But before I begin, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarabha and I'm a new YouTuber. I hope to make informative and entertaining videos. Now back to the topic. Let's start with the first question. What was the program all about? For those of you who don't know what this is, this program is based on user experience design. It covers the most fundamental and basics um, and it's suitable for new user experience designers or even the experienced ones depending on where they are in their career. This course is a pretty popular choice in the field of UX design and uh, they do not cover UI design in this course. In general, there were about 30 students divided into two sections. The classes were online for me, but for the current batch, it's hybrid. The course has two semesters, fall and winter, and each semester has different subjects. In the capstone project, students get to work with the industry partners. This means the partners are companies who give design challenge and students get to work on these with them. This is mostly a group project, so you will work with a bunch of other students. The course was intense with all the assignments to be submitted every month, but I enjoyed learning everything from scratch. The only downside is that the course does not have a co-op. Now, how are the faculty? The faculty are a combination of internal and external, depending on the subject that they teach and they're different for each semester. There are critique sessions held during the week for students to get feedback on their assignments and that's when the professors help you understand or clarify all your doubts. Make sure you utilize that well. Other than that, multiple external designers and design leaders were invited to share their industry experience and this was very helpful and insightful. What tools were used during the course? We were free to use any design tools for our assignment, but because most of the companies in the industry right now use Figma, um, the professor suggested to use Figma. There's also Tableau for data visualization, and I think I hope I've pronounced it right, and uh, usabilitytesting.com for usability testing. What was my experience during the course? Although I have a bit of experience in this field, I enjoy learning everything from scratch. It was a little hectic because of the assignments that had to be submitted every month, but if you manage your time well, I don't think it will be a problem. If the classes were in person, I could have met other students and had some college fun, if you know what I mean. I mean, I was so excited to go back to college after a really long time, but unfortunately that did not happen. So the next question is, have you applied for any other program next year? No, I did not. Um, my only goal was to get another job as soon as possible and luckily I found one. Was the course worth in terms of learning? Well, that entirely depends on where one is and in their career. If they are new to the field, I think they'll learn a lot. Um, there were a lot of subjects that were very new to me. Even though I had a uh, working experience in this field, I did uh, learn a lot and found a lot of subjects very interesting. Job opportunities after the course. Right now, the job market for designers is good. However, if you are someone who is relatively new to this field and are looking for a job, it's going to be difficult to get one. 
because the market is filled with junior designers and the job requirements posted are mostly for at least three to four years of experienced designers. It's going to be a struggle for new designers, so expect a struggling period of anywhere from four to six months. And does the college help find a job? They help you fine tune your portfolio. There will be industry experts uh, reviewing your portfolio and providing feedback on that. There will also be a graduation show at the end of the year and a lot of industry experts attend this event and that's an opportunity for the students to showcase their work and network with the um, experts in the industry. Um, I personally do not know if anyone has got a job through this event. Other than that, the college doesn't do anything much about job opportunities. With that, I think I covered all of the common questions that I was asked and if you'd like to know anything else about this course, please let me know in the comment section and I will make a part 2 of this video. And now the drill. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe, share it with your friends and help me grow. Okay, and also thank you to my new subscribers. I grew at least 16 new subscribers and thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. Okay, bye. Two uh, for our assignments, but because Sorry about the construction noise here. We have a guest at home today.